and welcome to my YouTube channel, Amaris Artistic. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to draw a white rose. First of all, I'm doing an outline of the rose and the rose petals with a very light pencil. Now I'm getting out my kneaded eraser, which was kind of difficult to get out, and I'm going to go over the rows until the pencil markings are really light so you don't really see them when you put the white colored pencil over it. Um, I'm using the Prismacolor colored pencils in this video. pencil outline of the leaves and the stem of the rose and then going back to the rose and then back to the stem which I did a lot in this video going back and forth because I always found something new to add and I'm only doing um, leaves at the very bottom of the stem on this rose Now I'm coloring in the rose with the white Prismacolor pencil. Now I'm going over it a little with the cream colored pencil. And now I'm doing the shading with a light gray and also a dark gray pencil. And later on with the cream colored pencil. Now I'm starting to color the stem with the lightest green color I was using and later on I started using the darker colors. To make the stem look more realistic, I added um, a white highlight down the middle of the stem and I'm also 
uh, working with the darker green colors on the leaves and also on the stem. Then I took a darker shade of gray and I made the kind of uh, shadows on the leaf petals to make them look more realistic and I um, faded them out with white. I'm doing more shading with gray now and going in the areas that should be darker and then blending it out. Since I wanted the really white parts to stand out more, I got a crayon to highlight that a bit. Uh, first I used a normal crayon, but it was kind of chalky, so then I used a oil crayon, and it really made the white color um, pop out more. mistake I made here was that I went too dark with the gray and the rose kind of looked like it had an outline so I kind of faded that out later.
now I'm working on the leaves and I'm using I think the darkest green color and later on I went in with black at the parts I wanted to get really dark. And now the drawing is finished. I was really happy with how it turned out, especially the leaves. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it really helpful. And I will put all the names of the colors I used in this video in the description below. Um, thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video.